What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Explore. Today we're checking out an abandoned mansion, pretty relatively new for stuff on my channel. Built in 1970, the same family lived here for 50 years until 2020 came around, a little bit of a housing crisis. Family had to basically pick everything up that they built and move and rebuild. And for the wealthy, that's pretty much easier than demolishing or repurposing. Just leave the mansion that you built with your own hands and money and just buy new. And that's exactly what they did. It's on a street in a neighborhood that's basically the 1% of America. The wealthiest of wealth live in this neighborhood and we can't even take the street because we just don't fit, you know, the, the social cue for being in that neighborhood. So we're gonna take the woods and we're gonna see this abandoned house soon. This trail that we're on actually goes right to this house. So it should be really cool and scenic. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you do, leave a thumbs up. Despite this mansion being built in 1970, the property dates back as far as the colonial times. You can see the old stone wall that's just surrounding. I love old stone walls here. You can just think about the labor it took to build this. And this goes miles back. Only thing to really differentiate properties back then. But we're getting closer here. Starting today's video at the front door. Right beside us here we have a laundry room. Nothing too crazy. Everything's pretty well preserved here. I think it's been abandoned since 2006, 2007, 2008, around then. Because of the calendars I found laying around. But you guys are going to be seeing a lot here. Got a beautiful courtyard here. One of many indoor courtyards with skylights. Perfect for greenhouses. You could see the plants. The family had here and they're just dead now but we're gonna take a look inside what is the first room here we have the kitchen beautiful kitchen nice island pantry there's a lot of storage not going to be a lot of contents left inside here besides this kitchen here probably has the most but we're going to be seeing a lot of beautiful architecture all from the 60s the 70s at least with the influence of the woodwork you'll see here you'll be seeing a lot of that type of style but pretty basic kitchen i mean i do like the white and the island but these appliances are pretty old Got the microwave oven built into the wall. Really cool stuff, fancy pants stuff here. Stove top. All the appliances are built in. Compactor. And let's see what the refrigerator looks like. It looks like they had two. This looks like a refrigerator. And so does that. So let's see what both these look like. Yep, refrigerator. Nice and vintage. Wow. I like the designated locations for certain items. Like butter right there. Meat. All with 
that wood paneling built in. This might have been, oh, this is another refrigerator. I thought maybe one was the freezer. I think this actually might have been the freezer, yeah. Very much the same as the other. Not sure what brand. So much storage just hidden in the island here. Got some things left behind. Blender. Coffee maker. Majority of the stuff is empty. Oh, I guess it's a cutting board. That's pretty cool. At least I think it is. Got a bunch of fancy pants. Kitchen appliances in here. Pretty sure this is a food warmer. It says hot food server. So I think you just put... I can't open it. It's really broken. But what I was going to say is I think you just put food on a plate in here and it just keeps it warm at a certain temperature until you're ready to serve it. Just got a bunch of plants all thrown over. Just imagine how lush and filled with plants this was. Beautiful greenhouse. Even have room for vines to grow up here. And you can actually see the temperature. Let's go around the other side so we can look at it correctly. It's a nice 80 degrees here today. Definitely a little hotter in the house with no breeze. Look at the floor here. Flowers, and we have an antler chandelier. Look at that. Probably made from one, two, three, four, five different deers. Interesting room. You have a window to the green room to the left. And to the right is actually a little courtyard, which is in the front of the home. That leads up to the front door, which is all boarded up. This house is going to be demolished within this year, so we're checking it out now before they make any progress on it. But weird little room, like a little hunting room or something, maybe a little office was here. So now we're going to be heading into the middle of the home. Wow. Check out the chandelier room. We had some closets here. All open, some clothes on the ground. And this was a sliding glass door that leads right outside and you could see a barbecue out here and everything. So this was the, um, just the recreational room. Beautiful outside deck. Can't imagine what else they'd use this room for. Beautiful chandelier. I'm so glad it's not smashed by vandals. I've already seen evidence of children that have came in here. I'm glad they haven't destroyed this. You could actually see some of it is destroyed here. Also possible they had like a television system up here. Looks like a TV might have settled right there. Giant one at that. Maybe a giant U-shaped couch. Just gotta use our imagination. We got some control panels here. I wonder what that's for. It's not labeled or anything. So, 
we can take the long way this way and get to the pool or we can make a right and take a look at his living room. I think I'm going to save the pool for the last because this living room is right beside us here. Beautiful natural light. Check this out. You never need to turn a light on in the daytime. It's actually probably one of the reasons there's not a single light in this entire room. Just this one up here. It's the only bulb you could find in this room. Whole entertainment system here. Built into the cabinet. Wow. Look at the record player, it's all destroyed. Kids came in here and they broke the place. But we have an auto reverse. It's for a cassette player. Got a radio too. Kenwood radio. Turn it on. Nope, nothing left. Nothing left in the shelf. You could see the old stereo though, it was right behind here. This entire thing was a set. It must have been so expensive at the time. It looks like late 70s. But this whole room just feels like a greenhouse. It's so hot in here with the sun beaming in here. Beautiful though. And you could see where it drops down. This is so cool and chill. So it just drops down. Here you could have chairs and I had a fireplace. Oh, and a bar. You had a whole bar here. Got a bunch of vinyl records here. Academy Award winners, karaoke. Best songs from 1955 to 1994. You got Lion King, Bruce Springsteen, Madonna, Stevie Wonder, a lot of people. The same records they be playing over on the sound system over there. Got a lot left behind. Nothing really that I recognize. They're all Asian influenced, so we could assume that the family that lived here was Asian. Check out the marketing and the packaging on this Diet Coke. I haven't seen a Diet Coke that looks like this in oh, no, at least a decade. At least a decade here. Just sitting on the floor, I put it up at the bar. Beautiful bar. I mean, I wonder if this family had a whole staff working for them or it was just the family that would come behind here and make drinks and whatnot. Must have been really relaxing area. You got the music playing, pour up some drinks, got the fire going. It's really cozy. Ice cooler. Honestly, the holidays must have been amazing here. Just the family gatherings, even just to be in this room and have a 360 view of even like snow coming down in the winter. It must have been a magical place for any season, really. But we're going to head into this room. It's actually the last on this side of the building. Also has the fireplace on this side. And some light fixtures. So there's just a table here, I'd assume. Maybe some paintings, some bookshelves, but not much. Kind of try to put this back where it was. Try to leave the place better than I found it. There we go. So that's how it would look back in the day.
you could see with the sunlight and perhaps water damage could be oh yeah 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 right above here you could see the wood breaking away from the window so there is a water leak and that's what's causing the floor here to be buckled like that that doesn't happen fast either so this place has definitely been abandoned for 10 years or so nice little couch maybe we'll rate the comfiness of it Ooh, really comfy oh yeah oh yeah this is nice this is a good 10 out of 10 comfiness level i sink right in so leaving this side this is going to be the side for just recreational stuff living room and now as we walk to this side of the house we're going to be looking at bedrooms and the indoor pool that is left here you can see the headrest one of the master beds here. I love this hallway. Beautiful natural light everywhere. We do have some rooms here. This looks like it was a closet. Giant room to see yourself. Plenty of coat storage. So that's what exactly what it was. It was a coat closet. And I do like this material. For an Asian family, they have some like southwest wallpaper here i do like the style though maybe not the color but i do like the style and we do have another mirror room this probably is a bathroom all right cool first bathroom we're looking at not too bad the hot and cold faucets are just like orbs really unique i can appreciate that Welcome to the best room of this mansion here. Look how insane this indoor pool is. All the woodwork, all the space, the light fixtures over there. We're all gonna get a detailed look at this entire room, but I could just admire this and sit here for hours. It's beautiful. It even still smells like wood finish a little bit, if you believe me here. It does smell a little bit like wood. We have a level up there to chill at. There's a bedroom up here. Bedrooms over there. We're going to be checking out this entire section. It's just so insane. So much room. You could picture the parties, the family parties, the get-togethers. You could host so many people in this in this house here. And I love these 1960s light fixtures. nice upper deck here so much room to hang out like you could throw the craziest party ever here and have like thousands of people in this home it's so big all the wood still looks brand new it's like shining off the sunlight it's so beautiful to look at Wood just lasts so long. It's a shame this is going to be demolished because this was not easy to build. We're going to head down to the pool level. Wow. Got some more rooms over here. A sauna here in the middle. Let's take a look inside. Doesn't smell too good in here. Of course, we got the coals, the hot coals still left behind. This looks like an old hotel room. This really looks like an old hotel room. Old Sony television. Without a doubt, this was the guest room. I mean, they even made it look like a hotel. Let's check out the bathroom they had in this room. Not too bad, got your own toilet and your own bathroom shower. Even has the towels, 
next to the sink, like just waiting for the next guest to come and use them. There's like spider eggs on it now. Gross. Look at that, steam shower. The whole shower is electric. Control everything with those buttons there. Really fancy stuff here. And look, you even have a window at the top of the shower to let steam out or keep it in. That's cool. This room equally looks like a hotel room, but a little bit fancier. This is the office setup for a hotel room. Got the office chair, TV built into the cabinet, and there's a fax machine over here. Got like a picture of the Yankee Stadium or something there. Nice storage space, and they do have their own bathroom in this one as well. Let's take a look at it just because. Not too bad. Nice little tub shower. Okay, now we're checking out the pool from this angle, the deep end. It's not labeled, but it's pretty deep. Probably about 12 feet. We'll get Chris to come in here so we can get a size comparison. So you guys can understand the scale. But I'm gonna take a look over here at these toys. Just imagine knowing this kid and coming to his house on a play date and you see all this, all the water guns and just this entire pool area, so impressive. Can we get you to stand in the pool for a little bit of scale? Yeah. Wow, that's humongous. It is. Walk down to the deep end here. <laughs> yeah, you're you're deep now. You're at least like eight and a half feet. They probably had some like splash it. Play some ball in here. Yeah, they probably had like a little basketball probably. basket there. About yeah. Ten feet out of here. <laughs> it's wild though. It's cool. Okay, now we're upstairs on this even higher balcony. This is like a third floor balcony compared to that one over there. And I got a nice glass enclosure here. Chill room. Plenty of natural light above us. What we're gonna be looking at now while we're up here are two more guest rooms right above the sauna. I'm guessing these are more guest rooms. I just don't know. But these are pretty okay rooms. Big closet. Nice bathroom. Storage closets are empty up here in the bedroom, but I do really appreciate the woodwork, even everything put into these. The little places for coat hangers and shelving, really good closet. Whoever the architect was here for this home did an amazing job. Beautiful home, just kind of stuck in time. They could remake this entire place like a hotel or something if they wanted to. Just so beautiful. Another look at the pool before we head over here to this bedroom. Purple couch. Same deal. Pretty cool bathroom. Check out the colors all over this sink. Reminds me of Candyland. Could have been a child's room or something. The entire trim 
just has that rainbow. We got the flowers over here. Nothing too crazy about these bedrooms. Let's go ahead to the master ones. Okay, so now we're gonna head over here. The majority of the master bedrooms are over here, including this courtyard I mentioned earlier. It's about two or three here, and this is another one completely overgrown. Just a jungle. You can see at one point you could just walk stone to stone. It'd be kind of cool to cut through your house. Like if you need to get over there, you just walk outside for a bit. You can see the curtains in that room over there. Let's close this. Over here we have a bunch of storage. Look at all the closet space here. Tons of closet space. And then we look down here. This actually goes right to the basement. We haven't really found a cool staircase for the home, so this is gonna be the one. We'll, he we'll head downstairs in just a second. Got a couple of bedrooms to check out though. Ooh, master bathroom, check this out. Huge room, love the columns here. Got the columns, the seat, and down here, the jacuzzi, hot tub. Wow. Take a look behind us. Got some leaves in here. I'm not sure how they got in here. But this room also has a shower and another Diet Coke on the ground, just like earlier, same style. Wow. Chandelier. Another bathroom. Two bathrooms in the same bathroom. <laughs> Never heard of that. Look at this curved door. I barely noticed it. Hopefully it comes up on camera. You could see the curve of the door. You'll see it down low. But we have a curved door for this bathroom in a bathroom. Gotta love curved doors. It's a half bathroom. Really cool. Also have a bidet. Thanks to all my viewers who inform me on this stuff. So I just learned that this entire area, this is the master bedroom's bathroom. And as you go over here, this is actually the closet. This is all attached to the master bedroom, including this courtyard. This is all storage for the clothes for the parents of this home. And as you'll see, when you walk through the bathroom, it leads right to the master be bedroom, excuse me. Wow, check this out. Two artificial plants by the bed. Bed is still here. Bed post is still here. So much natural light from this courtyard. It's just so beautiful. I'll say it again, just picturing all the snow outside, just watching the seasons change from your bedroom Almost an entire panoramic view. The wood is boarded up on the, on the glass there, so we can't really see outside, but it was a nearly panoramic view of nature. And we have more stuff to look at. You can see the wood paneling above us still. Just follows you everywhere in the home. We have another bathroom. Two master bathrooms. Ooh, this is a his and hers. Look at this, you got the golden gooses as the faucets. 
check that out. That is just luxury. You don't see that ever, at least I won't, not in my house. Got another jacuzzi with a bigger goose. Just spit the water out. Another shower, same as before. I love the pillars in the home. And we also have a, another steam vent for the shower. Half bathroom and a giant walk-in closet. And you could see on the ground, it's barely, barely can make it out, but there's some sort of crest within the carpet here. It's so discolored from people walking all over it, but some sort of family crest perhaps, and a pretty big walk-in closet. All wood. We got some newspapers left behind. I looked at these earlier. These are just completely in Asian. Not sure what characters those are specifically for, but some sort of Asian culture 100% lived here. You can see the time, the year, you can see the year on the calendar, 2005. Even the little towel racks or robe racks on the wall are just small little golden gooses. Everything, this is like the goose room, got a goose there. Golden goose there. Really nice bathroom. One thing this bathroom doesn't have is a medicine cabinet, but that's why they have these hidden pieces in the wall would be medicine cabinets. Pretty cool, you got his. Over here you got hers. Just trying to see if there's anything left behind medication or anything, just a hair dryer. Back in the master bedroom, I almost missed, is a whole nother room over here we could walk into, so it just keeps continuing. This is an entertainment area. Oh no, this is probably an office. We have a fax machine printer. Weird setup in here though. Definitely with a TV right there. But we have a sink there. It's like a little apartment setup. It's pretty strange. Weird, weird, weird setup. Kind of reminds me of an office. Mainly because of these shelves, these metal shelves, not really homey at all. And that artificial plant just looks like an office. Opened up the dresser here, and we have a calendar from 2008 just hanging out here. So, probably assume that's when this place was left. That's the latest date, earliest to now I've seen. And check this out. We did a full loop. And we're back in the pool room. There is one place we didn't check out yet. I almost forgot about it, but it's the downstairs staircase we saw over here. Huge temperature drop down here. Yup. Definitely some water damage. A little bit of mold up top. We're gonna make it quick down here. This looks like we have some storage and some ventilation piping. Yeah, nothing really down these staircase. Got a whole ornate staircase just for all this storage. I mean, it's tons of storage. Anything you want could be down here. 
instead of an attic, they have this. Kind of strange, just, you know, the staircase being so nice just for it to be storage. But I'll take it. There's one staircase I never went down. Uh, just a bunch of junk down here. So one thing I forgot to document is this garage. We have a one car garage, and this honestly could be two cars. It's just so big. You could definitely fit two cars in here. And there's a ton of stuff left behind. Just books, magazines. I mean, things that you really wouldn't want. Also got some floppy disks left behind. That's how you know this place is old. Just a bunch over there. Got a nice game on the ground. Soccer VR 96 on the original PlayStation. Just the cover. But there's some old stuff on the ground. Some Dis oh, Disney pamphlets. Disney magazine. Disney catalog. Never heard of it. You see the N64 boxes over here? Oh, wow. Yeah. Nintendo 64, NFL Quarterback Club 98, the Mortal Kombat Trilogy. We got one of these games left behind. I forgot what these are called. I keep thinking knock hockey, but I know that's something completely different. Let me know, let me know what this is in the comments if people know. Soccer game. But there's some balls left behind. Yo, Chris, you wanna play? Hell yeah. I'll play a little match. Let's get rid of a little bit of this debris, but keep a little bit of it maybe. Got it. I'm on my side. Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay, oops. Okay, so I'm gonna be whites, they're gonna be blacks. White? Black. black. Uh, you're white, I'm black. I'm gonna so. drop the guy right here. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it's a little dirty, so it's not moving as much. I can't even get it. You gotta use your black one. Point one hand, guys. I can't even. We found we thing. found a spot where it's this thing's not working right, guys. There's glass all over it. There we go. I don't have like. Oh, oh. Check this out, guys. What'd you find? NBA Hang Time. Is that another N64 game? It's oh, in. it's still in there. NBA Hang Time. I've never heard of this. I don't even know who that is on the cover. <laughs> Patrick Ewing? 1996. Not sure who that is. If it is Patrick Ewing, he's looking really ugly. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Any more games around? I love old N64 games. This is my first console. All right, everybody. That's gonna do it for today's Mansion Explorer. What a house. I just loved every single bit of it. The woodwork, the indoor pool, the 1970s vibes, the light fixtures. Beautiful house. Even though it's a basement and one story, I usually explore multiple story homes. This one's top notch. I love the architecture. It's a shame it's going to be demolished, but not every house is for another person. People build these homes personally for them. By the time you want to sell it, people aren't really into the old styles that this home is, and I can understand why people don't want it, but at the same time, it's so beautiful. I'm just gonna end the video inside the most beautiful room. And that's gonna be it. I had a really good time exploring this place. Hopefully you enjoyed as well. If you did enjoy, leave a thumbs up on the video, consider subscribing, and comment your favorite part. Until next time guys, peace out and stay curious.